the last thing I want to show you is how to export your face rig that we've just created. It's very simple in this version of Live2D. Just click on File, Export for Runtime, Export as Mock Free File. Now, before I, I do this, just make sure that you have a file ready for your face rig. I'm going to go into my project files, I'm going to go new, folder, and we're going to call this jelly face rig. So now we have a folder for our face rig. Just click on OK. Then locate your file that you just made which is here. Double click and then save. Now all your files should be here. We do have the facial expressions, things like the blush, the stars, the hearts. Those are going to be things we're going to dabble into the next video. But for now, this is considered a basic face rig where it has no emotions or or any toggles at all or animations at all. We will go into those eventually. Uh, but for now, we have made the files for our face rig. So we are going to now copy this folder and we're going to also log into Steam. Now we're logged into Steam, go into your library and find FaceRig. Right click on FaceRig and into properties. Go to local files, then browse local files. So these are the local files for the software FaceRig. Go on mod, BP, PC common, objects and this is where your file goes just paste it in here now it should be in the list of face rigs in your software so just minimize that for now close this and launch face rig when you load up face rig for the first time you probably will default to this scary looking red panda uh, this is fine all you have to do is click on avatars and also by the way i forget to be able to do this in the first place you need the live 2d dlc be sure to purchase that and then make it work okay uh so yeah we're going to go ahead and add our face rig i've got other face rigs as well <laughs> it's kind of funny the 3d ones aren't they uh so yeah basically the one that you have made will be a question mark if you haven't given it an icon let's click on it and here we go then here is our new face rig we can make it bigger if we go alt and right click and drag We can move around, we can look up and down. It's really cute, honestly. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. The physics is a little bit still um, not quite there, like I say. It's very subtle, if anything. Uh, if I was to go right down, there's a bit of a bounce. Same looking from left to right. But yeah, I've re I really like how this one turned out. It's really pretty. I really like it. Um, so let's just go into the face rig options. Uh, so of course you've got the toggle picture in picture mode. This is actually your webcam. I'm not going to click it. Uh, but this can just show you a little preview of your webcam. Uh, this hides the interface for you so you can hide it and no one will see this unless you highlight it. So you, you can turn it off as well and stop it from hiding. But toggle broadcast is there to effectively change your webcam into this. Uh, so if you're in OBS, for example, you go on video capture device and you would select face rig instead of your webcam. 
and it's effectively like a webcam but I just have a feeling that I I don't know I just have this weird feeling that I don't want to do that so I always use the game capture option to capture it normally so I've got full control over it it's up to you whether or not you want to use the video capture or the game capture for this then we got toggle tracking this basically tracks your movement so you should always have that on uh, quick auto calibrate head pose this is like a, a quick uh, button for just calibrating your head specifically you've also got the quick auto calibrate expressions as well so this calibrates your natural facial expression so that it's default to how it should be basically you use these if for some reason your face rig looks a little bit odd and then you go on toggle audio based lip sync which is what I use all the time if you have issues with face rig detecting your mouth uh, so in my case if I was to turn it off you can see that my mouth is not as uh, sporadic anymore but also it's a little bit I don't know not as expressive I feel it really depends you can talk you can change things a little bit though with this if you wanted to if we go into the general options here we have lots of options to choose from uh, we got the hide logo always hide the logo you don't always need it there uh, you've got use audio lip sync on it. Yeah, it might be this. So basically you can have your character talk on key press. You've got enable hook keys, which is pretty useful. Hide webcam feed while broadcasting. Always have this on. Uh, generally speaking, I think this stops people from seeing your webcam if you happen to toggle it by accident while you're broadcasting. So I think that's what that's about. Swap stream colours, I'm not sure what that is honestly. Hide tips, yeah sometimes you get tips on face rig, you don't always need that so I always have it hidden. This also allows you to flip the stream so this could be quite useful if you're needing to look in a certain direction. You can put your, you can check out your key bindings. Got the special poses here. These are the main toggle shortcuts for your on and off toggles on your face rig. Be sure to have these enabled if that is what you're using. We've also got some special animations here too. They're kind of dotted about in this options. It looks like I think we do have up to, I think eight actually. I thought it was nine. We haven't inputted any animations into the space rig yet, so we will do that soon. This is where you can set up your audio settings. Everything's set up to my Blue Yeti microphone. We've also got graphics, so you can set up the resolution of face rig. And we've got the map resolution, which is what we currently have for our face rig which is the set number that we used at the beginning of our tutorials. We've got like, other things that I think are more to do with 3D to be honest. We've got the 2D avatar render quality, which is set to medium for me, but you can have it on high. I simply leave it on medium because I think it's a bit unnecessary. If your computer is capable of it, uh, put it to high, but if not, uh, keep it to medium. You can also make it low as well. <laughs> I love how there's uber high, but there you go. So yeah, there's that and we got sound. So the noise gate is pretty useful, particularly for the toggle audio based lip sync so that it doesn't always move the mouth. Uh, of course, if it reaches over the noise gate like it is right now when I'm speaking, it will make the, the avatar's mouth move when this is toggled on. However, this isn't too big of a deal if you're using the, only the webcam for facial recognition with your voice not it wouldn't your voice wouldn't really matter in this case but it does if you have this toggled on uh we've also got performance we can set the the render of our face rig i guess to 30 fps or the software itself to 30 fps something like that and we can also make it a low priority process too if it's uh, causing any issues also we've got language we can choose our language and yeah that's like the main the main options anyway that you need to know Apparently you can use things like voice effects, I've never really dabbled into it. There's also something called a karaoke panel. Eh, I, like I say, I've not really messed with that. Uh, advanced tracking co configuration. Now this is worth looking into, especially if you're someone who wants to use natural movement with their webcam. This is definitely the place to go, especially for things like your mouth, making sure that your mouth is 
opening and closing like it should and the eyes are opening and closing as it should too. You use these sliders to effectively alter the the rate of the movement. You know, that's basically how it works. You can also, uh, if, if you want it to be a much smoother movement, you can also toggle or slide this here to help with that. And yeah, I just I just recommend I recommend looking at this if you're like I say really into the idea of working with motion with the webcam without having to use things like the uh, audio based lip sync. Be sure to check it out and see if it is something that you will find useful. Environments is pretty cool, uh, very straightforward. Like basically, you can give yourself a little background. So here you are. I'm in a forest now. <laughs> uh, so generally speaking, if you are interested in having a cartoony background or something cool like that, you can pick whatever you want in the select collection of preset backgrounds from Facerig. So it's really up to you. But of course, if you're wanting to have a transparent background for things like OBS and YouTube, the ideal selection here is the green screen. As much as it hurts the eyes, uh, it's to colour key it out so that it's transparent for things like OBS and YouTube content. If you wanted to, you can record a performance too. I never use this though. I usually just use OBS, no problem at all. You can export the movie and uh, load the... It's, it's not actually as good as you think it is. It's, it's very laggy as well. I tried it once out of curiosity and it seemed to have lagged out the software or like if you were doing anything to great length it didn't like that. So yeah, again, thank you all so much for the support. For all who has come across my video, thank you for watching. And again, if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future. And we can make more rigs together, hey? And also, for anyone who doesn't know, I do have a Twitch channel, so I always Twitch, uh, I always Twitch, I always stream five days a week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can pop by and, and talk to me live, or you can post more comments down below if there is any questions you have. I will see you all later. Have a good one, guys. And again, thank you for all the support. It means a lot. If, if I can somehow create content that can really help someone out, then I'm happy. And I hope that the tutorials have helped understand the basics of live 2D and face rig. See you all soon, guys, and take care. Bye-bye. See you later.